Space Dragon and Kim. There. With these freaky flask faces, I can finally scare away my nemesis, Hawkins, who's always trying to steal my research. Yeah, and always trying to steal my dance moves. <laughs> So, uh, Kim, those flask face things aren't that scary. I mean, like, maybe if they shot lasers out of their eyes, or, like, shot lava out of them, that'd be pretty sweet. Hey, that gives me an idea. I actually know an experiment that creates this volcanic-like eruption. Oh, do you want to make a mess? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. You know what this means. It's, it's time, time to, to roundhouse, roundhouse kick you in the mind with science. Wow, check this out. This is called the periodic table of elements. More like the periodic table of smell elements. <laughs> okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to use it to help us make a stunning explosion of color. So, you want to make sure you've got some safety gloves, a stylish safety outfit, and don't forget those goggles. Yeah, don't try this at home without a responsible adult or without like a million paper towels because it's about to get filthy up in here. Oh, yeah. But wait, Kim, yeah. how's this boring thing going to help us make a stunning explosion of color? Oh, good question. Well, this is basically a list of all the really, really, really small stuff that makes, well, stuff. Okay, so kind of like... Different tiny building blocks that can be rearranged a bunch of different ways to make up a bunch of different things? Yes! Cool! <sighs> Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom make water. And if you have a molecule with 12 carbon atoms, 22 hydrogen atoms, and 11 oxygen atoms, you get hmm, sugar. <laughs> OK, well, what's this stuff? It says it's called hydrogen peroxide and that it's made out of two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. Yep, that is correct. It is very close to water, but with one extra oxygen atom in the mix. Cool. And a lot of dudes in the 1990s used it to make their hair look like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's bad. It's very bad. But anyways, we're going to use hydrogen peroxide as one of the main ingredients in our experiment to help us make a huge eruption. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So are you ready to get messy and Bessie? Yeah, let's do it. I said, are you ready to get messy and Bessie? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now, this is yeast, which is used in baking bread. It is the catalyst in this experiment. Catalyst? I said a catalyst. <laughs> Catalyst. That means it speeds up the chemical reaction. It'll rip oxygen out of the hydrogen peroxide, making it shoot out like a giant tube of toothpaste. How did you know that? Oh, I just read it off that cue card that you have taped oh. to the bottom of the camera over there. I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, you should really learn your lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on. Demonstration time! <coughs> All right, scooping some yeast. A little scoop, a little poop. All right. A little scoopy poopy. All right, so you're mixing the yeast with water, and you're gonna add the yeast to the hydrogen peroxide, which you already poured into the monster faces, along with some dish soap and some food coloring earlier. Got it. Here it comes. Oh, yeah! Chemistry in motion! <laughs> that looks awesome, kind of like he's spewing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his brains are flying out of his head. <laughs> yeah, now that is scary. That will scare Hawkins for sure. Get out of here, Hawkins. Get it out of my lab. Woo! That is amazing. This is what we call an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction. And you're like, what is that? It's a reaction that gives off either heat or light. And if you look super, super close, you can actually see a little steam coming off that foam. And that's heat. And that is chemistry, baby. That's chemistry in action. Woo! 
You know what they say. What? The chemist doesn't fall far from the chemist's tree. Oh! <laughs> 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 You know that joke doesn't make sense, right? Shh, no one will notice. Okay. <laughs>